In this video, I want to show you how to create really extra rugged terrains. Uh, I'm using a, a not yet released build of Gaia 1.2. So as of this recording, it's not out yet, but it'll be out in just a few days. So you will see a couple of new features as well. But the general principle will hold in um, just about any sp uh, uh, terrain. So let's start with a little gradient. So this is a helix gradient um, you can get it from the gradient node um, not many people use it but sometimes it can be uh, pretty useful for creating like a, a a side cliff or a wall so we just take this as is um, this is the exact shape that it gives us and then because this is too hard i'll blur it uh, so that we get a softer angle here and the edges are a bit smooth and then we apply folding now, folding will bring it down a bit and then create this nice rugged shape with a little bit of smoothing going on uh, and you yeah, know little details like uh, this here. So it's like little striations or uh, stratification rather. And so that kind of is our base shape. And so this is what we want to turn into a rugged cliff face. So then we do a bit of erosion. Um, you can see I'm using basically defaults for everything except random sedimentation. That's been amped up to nearly 230. And so what that does is it creates this um, granular um, erosion. So you get lots of like rocks and boulders flowing down along with the softer sediments. That is giving us this um, really interesting shape now. So this is already pretty usable in many ways. Um, you can just slap on a texture and be done with it, but we'll take it to the next level by adding stacks. Now what stacks does is that it, um, I'll turn off the max mode because we'll get to that later. So this is what the stacks node is doing. It basically is one of the new look dev nodes and you can find them right under erosion. These are all the different look dev nodes and their job is to quickly give you a very complex uh, predefined look for terrain and stacks basically gives us um, you know the kind of sandstone stacks that you might find in the desert and so these will have lots of stratification they'll have little uh, thermal erosion here and there pock marks and so on so this is what we're getting and in the newly added talus pass it once it finishes creating this rugged landscape it just takes this bottom part um, wherever we specify it and then creates a strong um, flowing talus now this is great, but I kind of like this as well. And so what we do is we can get the best of both worlds. So in the stacks um, post process uh, settings, I'll turn on blend mode max. So now it's blending it with the uh, original height field and it's giving us the, the higher values from both. So now we get to have the strong sedimentary um, flows as well as the rugged stratified uh, rock outcrops then we can make this extra rugged and to do that we create a combined node and we take erosion and stacks and then we use a hundred percent ratio for difference so we basically get the difference from these two and in this case we're only getting uh, this area and some of this is gone because we're already using max mode on stacks so if I were to take the max mode out you can see we get a lot more um, but that's fine, that's neither here or there. Um, it's just what is, and um, for whatever terrain you're uh, you're getting, so whether you're using max mode or min mode or anything, you will always get like the exact difference between the two. But in this case, it's nice that we're getting just these few, because then we can take this, uh, so this is where it's, I'll move this so you can see the flow better. So we're getting the difference from these two nodes. Then we combine it back with the stacks this time using screen mode. So if I zoom out, let's find a nice angle. So I'm going to reduce the ratio and you can see this is kind of like what we have originally. And then when I go maximum, this is what gets added. So because we um, took the difference from stacks, like, um, or, sorry, here, there, the difference from stacks, we get the, the rough outcrops. Uh, these are inverted a bit, but that's fine. Um, they're mathematically accurate. And so when we add them back, the portion that makes this look rugged gets enhanced further. 
and you get to control it using the screen setting. I and mean, we could always go add, and but that looks a bit too much. Uh, that's a bit harder to texture as well. So I like screen. And then you can find the sweet spot. You can even just have a mask and be whatever you like it to be. And that gives us a nice rugged look for a terrain. And you can duplicate this on any terrain. 